Oh, yeah. uh, that's you, <laughs> Landon. That's you, buddy. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Okay, everybody, welcome to Last Match Standing. <laughs> um, and, you know, we could cut this right here and start over, but I actually think this is very relevant. Oh, no. It is. Um, Keep it in. Because the, what, what just happened is I got a notification on my phone about the flash flood warning that's going on in Louisiana right now. We are very much in uh, day two or so of Tropical Storm Barry. Uh, personally, I'm just like, can he just come already? Because we've been waiting for this since like Tuesday, and he was supposed to hit yesterday, and he didn't hit us until last night at around. I think morning. pretty much what we're saying to Barry is, just bring it. <laughs> <laughs> this storm feels a lot like an episode of Monday Night Raw. It's never ending. It doesn't quite hit its climax, and it's just not going away. I just want to change the channel. <laughs> Uh, but we are actually, since we have the time uh, with the storm being down, we're going to record another bonus episode for you guys, and we're super excited. Um, just in case you forgot, I'm Spencer. I'm Paul. And I'm Landon. And this is, is Last, last match, match Standing. standing. We're super right. excited to be here. Um, it, and no, it's not going to be a full episode, and I'm sorry you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for another full episode. Um, but it's it it's going to be a fun one because Spencer's put together a little bit of a treat for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, we've done this a couple of times now where I got to participate uh, in some type of trivia challenge that I inevitably will lose. And so this time I decided <laughs> I would like to host. <laughs> I'm going to actually come up with what we're doing. So we're doing something that we're titling Wrestling Resumes, right? And so what I'm going to do, it's going to be Landon versus Paul. I'm going to read you a resume of a superstar. Who knows where they're from, what they're doing, if they're active or not. Um, and I'm going to go one item at a time. Feel free to uh, to say your answer whenever. You know, if you, however, if you guess before I'm done and you're wrong, <laughs> you're out. The other person can finish listening to okay. the entirety of their resume. Okay. And uh, and give their answer. So there's we're going to have ten of them. First person to uh, to six technically. If if not, if there's a we'll do a tiebreaker. If uh, if we're tied at five, but I all don't right, think that's gonna happen. There will and, be uh, and no tie. So whenever I win again, <laughs> I get to pick the next match we do again. That's right. That's right. That's okay, right. The excellent. winner will get to pick the next match. I like the confidence. I do. All right. Are we ready for our first one? Let's, Bring it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. This superstar. Wait, was who's going first? Who's going first? We're we're going at the same time. Ooh. Yeah. 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 We're going Ooh. at the same you time. You did say that. I okay. Did. Yeah. So if if you know it. Before I get finished, totally go for it. Uh, but if not, you might want to wait till I till I say them right. all. Here this we go. Could get frantic. This superstar was a five-time tag team champion. Oh, you jerk! <laughs> a two-time intercontinental champion. A two-time WCW champion. A Royal Rumble winner, and an eight-time WWE champion. Ooh. Five-time tag champion, two-time WCW champion. I Ooh. think I know who it is. Eight. Is it The Rock? It is The Rock. Laying it up one nothing. I was, Very thinking, nice. I was thinking, like, because I know he won the WCW heavyweight championship. Twice, invasion. but it was only in WWE, and yes. he's the only person who would have that combination of credentials. Very nice. Well, I, I really thought the WCW to the Royal Rumble winner would be the connection there. So and really he's the, nice the only way. I, I, it's the two intercontinental title runs, or very few intercontinental title runs, and then the so many. I, I know he won the WWE title seven times, and then he came back and won it again, and won it again against That's Punk. right. Yep. So, yeah, Good. eight. Eight was right. Good. Are you ready for the next one? Ready. Let's do it. All right. This superstar... Was a two-time WCW champion. Okay. A three-time WCW tag team champion. An eight-time WWE tag team champion. A one-time Intercontinental champion. A one-time United States champion. A three-time Hardcore champion. A two-time World Heavyweight champion. A two-time WWE champion. Mm. A one-time ECW champion. And a winner of the Andre the Giant the big show. Memorial. Absolutely. I was going to say the job. big show. The minute you said ECW champion, yeah, there's only that was the two one. people have held yeah. ECW, WCW, and WWE. He's one of them. Yeah. Really two nice people job. have held the all three. All right. We go to the next one. We're tied at one. Very good. This next superstar 
is a two-time tag team champion. Okay. A two-time United States champion. A six-time intercontinental champion. Mm. A two-time world heavyweight champion. And a winner of Money in the Bank. Rob Van Dam. That is incorrect. Paul? How many times did they win the WWE Championship? Never. They won the World Heavyweight Championship twice. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I know. Now I know. <laughs> Paul gets a guess. If he's wrong, then you mm. can guess again. Because like, those two names pop in my head, but like, no, that's not enough Intercontinental wins for one of them. And the other person also won the WWE title. So, two-time heavyweight champion? That's correct. Two-time heavyweight champion, but never won. Mm. This is this is hard. <laughs> this is this is for the lead. <sighs> is it Chris Jericho? No, can't it be. Is, it is not Chris Jericho. Can't Landon, be. do you know it? Give it, give me the stats one more time. Two-time world heavyweight champion. Two-time yep. U.S. champion. Two-time oh, tag no, champion. Oh no, the guy I'm thinking of never won the U.S. title. Okay. Um, oh, did I stump you? The thing, the two, the things that give it to when I was reading yeah, and making it. Yeah. Money in the bank, six-time Intercontinental Champion. Okay, Money in the bank. Here's your here's your final clue. Champion. His Money in the Bank was a great moment that led to a World Heavyweight Championship win. Dolph Ziggler. That's great. Okay. I was gonna say because like the two names that came up in my head were Edge and Chris Jericho. I'm like no, Edge and I was thinking Christian, but Christian yeah. never won the U.S. Ah, Correct. Yeah. But he is a yeah. two, he is a two time world heavyweight champion. Exactly, that was good. But I'm like I feel I feel like he's won more tag titles. And it's than deceptive that. to think that Dolph Ziggler is a two time world heavyweight champion because he barely held those titles. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I forgot he got it a second time. Yeah, how about that? Uh, okay, we're t- uh, landing up two to one. Here we go. The next one. This superstar is a two time tag team champion, a one time United States champion. A one-time Intercontinental Champion. Okay. A Money in the Bank holder. A two-time Royal Rumble winner. A four-time World Heavyweight Championship holder. And a nine-time WWE Champion. Are we talking about Randy Orton? We are talking about Randy Orton. And we are okay. tied to. Because I'm like, oh, that's right. He's only won half those he, belts one time. He only held the Intercontinental title one time. Does that blow your mind a little bit? Because he had it for such a long yeah, time. Yeah, he did. He, he had it for the best Intercontinental champion behind Hockey Talk Man. But like, as soon as he lost it, like, all right, well, fine. You're the world, you're the, you're the world heavyweight champion now. So here you go, buddy. <laughs> all right, we are tied at two. Moving right along. This next superstar was a two-time women's champion. And a one-time hardcore champion. Hardcore champion. China. No. No, she won the Intercontinental title. Paul? That's true. They won the hardcore belt, and they're a two-time women's champion. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think who all won the hardcore belt. So many people have held that belt. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a memory that is so vivid in my mind. <sighs> two-time women's champion, but also won the hardcore belt. Mm-hmm. I have a couple more guesses, but I have to wait for Paul. For the lead. <sighs> this is frustrating because I like <laughs> want to scream out names, as but soon as I know I say they're it, wrong. It's going to be so obvious. For some reason, I want to say Fabulous Moolah. It is not Fabulous Moolah. Landon? I want to say Ivory. It is not Ivory. Paul? Ugh. Two-time women's champion, one-time hardcore champion. Hardcore champion. Which this one's hard, Spencer. Who won the damn hardcore <laughs> belt? Okay, I will. I will give you. I will give you this clue, and then anyone can answer. Somebody giving a clue. She won it by hitting the then champion with the frying pan. That that does not help. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, it really? does not. It's such. A, it's a memory that is very vivid. <laughs> there to me. were a lot of frying pans in the year two thousand. Molly Holly. Molly Holly. Mighty Molly. Mighty Molly. Yeah, yes. Very good. Yes. Yes. Okay. I I remember this because Molly Holly at the time was she got her name from being the wife of or the sidekick of Hardcore Holly. Yes. And so Molly Holly makes a lot of sense if you think of it that way. 
Nice. Okay. Very so, good. It was, a t- it was a tough one. I didn't yeah. give me a lot to work with. Yeah, that but. was tough. It, it's odd to me she only won the women's title twice. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, why I, I didn't say yeah. Molly first. I thought I for sure she, had more. she had like four or five yeah. wins. Yeah, just two. Excellent, excellent right. wrestler, by the way. Very good, for sure. Okay, here we go. Uh, Lane, in, you're up three to two, by the way. Stop reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> this next superstar was a two-time WCW Cruiserweight Champion. Okay. A one-time WCW Tag Team Champion. Mm-hmm. A two-time WWE Tag Team Champion. A four-time WWE Cruiserweight Champion. And a one-time ECW Champion. Ooh, that's that's kind of tough, actually. ECW champions that were that won how many? Ver, how many cruiserweights? Both sides. Four in the WWE and two in WCW. Okay, four WC, four, four WWE, two WCW, and, and then, then three ECW. tag team championships: two in WWE, one in. And WCW. he he was the ECW World Heavyweight Champion. He was. Old school ECW or new ECW? You're new. not you're not gonna. I'll tell you, it's new. The yeah. new, okay. There's only been a handful of them. I know. Why am I not like okay? I, Who was in here's, WCW here's your final clue that Here, transitioned over? Here's your final clue. Chavo Guerrero. Yes. <laughs> ah, I hate yes. You. It came to me. <laughs> it came to me at the last second because I'm thinking, okay, who's a cruiserweight that won the ECW? Cruiserweight that won the ECW. That's Chavo good. Guerrero did. I was gonna say the he lost the belt in like ten seconds. Yep. To Kane. To Kane. Money in the yep. Yeah, no, wait, yep. To Kane. <laughs> That's the memory that popped into my head that very gave it to me good. at the last second. Very, yep. very good. All right. Landon, you're up four to two. You need just two more to win. Two more? Mm. I thought it was to five. Yeah, well, if there's there's, there's only ten. So if there's Oh, okay. You know, five, so five we five could tie five. if I only Theoretically, five. Yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. If you tie, then I'm picking the next match. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I like this idea. <laughs> yeah. This next superstar was a five-time hardcore champion. Okay. Jerk. A four-time European champion. European mm. champion. A two-time intercontinental champion. A four-time tag team champion. And a one-time winner of King of the Ring. Billy Gunn. Hart. You're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> I'll read them again. Okay. Okay. Five-time gonna... hardcore. Four-time European. Two-time intercontinental. Four-time tag team and a King of the Ring winner. Shamrock? No. Mabel? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Mabel won the uh, ECW heavyweight title. He never got. <laughs> oh man. Okay, they won King of the Ring. Yeah, and that's I'm going through King else. of the Ring winners like Bret Hart. Bret Hart is like a six-time WWE champion. I know. <sighs> King of the Ring. King okay, of the King. Ring. Uh, and you said Billy Gunn. Yeah, I'm like, if it's not Billy Gunn, then who the hell else guess. won the King of the Ring? But did, and that said Shamrock. Landon, you would take firm, firm control with the correct answer here. Paul, you need this one. William Regal? Yeah. Oh. Very nice job. That's, oh, that's so, that, oh. Because King, the, he won the King he, of the Ring way later. later. Yeah. He won in 2008. Yeah. Eight, 2008. <sighs> nothing. Yeah. Although, he was going to get a monster push. That was tricky. <laughs> he was going to get like a monster, like world heavyweight push. But then he got like hurt and then got in trouble and then. Well, and he looked like he was eighty. <laughs> no, he didn't. Not no. <laughs> when he won the King of the Ring, he looked rough. He was not like he great. was like thirty-five. Though. I know. I know how young he was. It's not how young <laughs> he looked. <laughs> All right, here we go. Landon, you have four. Paul, you have three. All right, let's do this. This next one is a one-time TNA Legends champion. Okay. A one-time TNA Tag Team Champion. A one-time WCW United States Champion. Ooh. A one-time World Heavyweight Champion. Booker T. That's very good. That's what I was thinking. Like I'm just, I'm waiting. Like I didn't. I I I was following along. As Uh soon as you said Legends Champion, I was like, I know Booker T won the Legends Champion, so I was gonna keep Booker T in my head, and I I wanted to jump in before you got to five time. (laughs) It was gonna be five time or the eleven time WCW Champion. That was gonna be the other one. I was probably gonna give it away. Yeah, that many. Yep. He he won it ten times, and then he won it once under the WWE umbrella. It just it it just goes to show just how bad the title scene was in 2000 he won it 10 times in a year that's crazy 
Good um, lord. You're talking about the tag titles, right? Yeah, I'm talking about, yeah. Ten, oh, yeah. you meant yeah. that? No, no, because yeah. he was a five-time, 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 five-time WCW yeah, champion. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. So it would have been six-time world heavyweight champion. I also would have mentioned King of the Ring, King Booker, right? Right. King and, uh, Booker! Two, but two when you said Legends, I was like, that's Booker D. Very good. Very, very good. All right. Uh, Landon, now you lead five to three. If you get either one of the next two, you are the champion. <laughs> Here we go. This next superstar, a two-time Intercontinental Champion, a one-time Hall of Famer. <laughs> There's some two-timers. It's fine. One-time Hall of Fame, two-time Intercontinental, and only a one-time Women's Champion. China. Got it. She's the only one to hold the Intercontinental title. You're right. All right. It all comes down to this. Landon, you have five. Paul, you have four. Although right. Jacqueline won the Cruiserweight title. Just saying. She did. But she did not win the Intercontinental. You right. This final superstar is a two-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Ooh. A two-time NWA Tag Team Champion. Mm. A one-time TNA Tag Team Champion. A one-time WWE Tag Team Champion. Okay, never mind. A two-time United States champion, a two-time hardcore champion. Oh my God! A winner of the mixed match challenge, oh. and an eight-time twenty-four-seven champion. Uh, our truth. That is correct. Oh, we man. are tied. So Spencer, that means you get to pick that means the next I get one. To pick. Oh. I was like, okay, those <laughs> NWA fantastic. ones threw me off because I'm thinking, okay, it's gonna be somebody from like, oh wait, no, but they also won a TNA. I'm like. Jeez, like, Man. oh, our truth. <laughs> this, I thought I had it there. This benefited me. I was so waiting for, I was waiting I for, expect. and then a 16 time. <laughs> I should have known when you said TNA titles, our truth is all over those. Yeah. Well, like NWA, then TNA, and then a couple of WWE. Like, oh. So it was obviously someone who was there from the beginning, our truth. Yep. Because that was when it was still NWA, TNA. Exactly. Like, okay. I'm like, ah. That was good. That was tricky. Yeah. Okay. Nice Spence. job, guys. You tied. Way to go. That's oh, a really way to go for you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> good job. I, I almost like part. I should have let you win. Now, like, ah, I give him this one. Hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to pick. Is there? There's not a tiebreaker the question. Next match. There's not. That's right. I did uh, not prepare. I did not prepare for a tiebreaker. Uh, just so I could give myself a chance. I'm just glad that we tied it. So we're we're even. We yeah. Are, we're, we're pretty good. We're Landon pretty and good. I are equal when it comes to like wrestling trivia and knowledge. Did y'all find that particularly difficult? Because I, yes, I would have struggled. Some of those were one. really yeah, it was, hard. It was difficult, particularly the Molly Holly one. <laughs> yeah, but I will say they weren't so difficult that we weren't able to get them. Yeah, you got them all. I, we I, got think them only, all. I gave you a hint on like one of them, I think. So yeah, The Molly Holly was the only hint that you had to give us. <laughs> right, right. Okay. It's, and, then, and the hint didn't help. Well, it helped you. <laughs> frying pan. No, well, it really didn't. You said frying pan. I'm like, well, there's a lot of frying pans in 2000, 2001. Like, there's a, there's a hardcore match, which is nothing but frying pan shots. <laughs> All right. Drum roll, please. Okay. 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 The match that I am selecting that is going to be on our list of the 100 greatest wrestling matches of all time. Okay, I dropped the drum roll too soon. You did. Sorry. <laughs> it's going to be from WrestleMania 32. Sasha Banks, <laughs> Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch. Oh, that's a good one. For the new WWE Women's Championship. I was holding my breath the entire time. I'm sorry. <laughs> who who debuted that belt, by the way? Do you remember that, Landon? Who debuted that belt? Yeah, who who revealed it? Hmm. Lita. Was it Lita? Anybody that you know? Yeah. I right. think it was Lita. Um, it was. Or as Matt Hardy would say, Lita. And you know why you know why she debuted that belt, right? Why is that? Because she actually started the women's revolution. We've oh. established this. With it, this is this is official now. Someone said that Stephanie McMahon started the women's revolution. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, I wanted that, to pick this match. I had to uh, make that joke. I'm sorry. Because it feels completely on brand for me to pick a women's match in my first opportunity to pick a match. Um, but also, it's one of my favorite matches of all time. It really, really is. It it was a match that I was there for WrestleMania 32, um, and it was one that stole the show that night. Oh, hands down. That was probably the best match of the night. I, I think it was the best match of the night, and um, I thought it was really, really well done. It was the first big showcase moment in the women's revolution at WrestleMania 32. 
Um, so I think kind of in the same way that Trish and Lita was such a big moment to main event Raw, this kind of has that same feel. Oh, absolutely. Of importance, right? Uh, and, and to boot, it's just a really good wrestling match. So. I just love how the women's design is identical to the men's belt. It's just different colors. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm I saw sure. that. I'm like, uh, I like this. I'm like, wait, why is it red? And then like a month later, we got the blue one. Oh, okay. It all makes Split sense. Split brands. <laughs> I kind of wish they did the same thing for the universal title instead of having a red belt. I wish it was a black belt with a red plate, but you know, whatever. We could talk all day about the oh, belt designs. Could. That's for sure. And then there's a twenty four seven belt. Oh gosh, it looks horrible. <laughs> our truth, eight time champion right now. You know, yeah, that, that was that was part oh, of can it. We, can, yeah. we nice, point nice that, can we point out that? we point that our truth does not age? He does age. not. <laughs> he's looked the same since the year two thousand when he he's debuted. Like, he's in his forties. I, he's close to 50. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's up there. He Look, looks great. Oh, he, yeah, fantastic. Our truth debuted in, the w, in WF in 2000, and he has not aged since. You know, people talk about Chris Jericho as being this car- this guy that continually, continually reinvents himself. Our truth is, is obviously not on that same level, but he's another person that has been able to stay relevant for a really long time. Yeah, he's stuck around. He's had, they've given him some stupid things to do. But, but he's like, made him, he's made a lot of them work. Remember, remember when he like lost his mind and went crazy and beat up John Morrison and smoked a cigarette on him, which was illegal in the UK. <laughs> and then like the first week, it was like, oh man, he's gone crazy. And then they, man, I've heard of spiders. I'm like, what is this? And then like a week later, he just like starts talking to himself. No music. He comes to the ring to complete silence, talking to himself. And I'm like, okay, this man, he's doing something with it. They gave him, he's making chicken salad out of chicken shit right now. <laughs> and they gave him like a big main event run with the Miz. Which I still think that they should have won the Survivor Series match against The Rock and John Cena. That's why his main event run kind of ended. But Well, any any main event run that's capped off with an event at Capital Punishment, I don't think is one <laughs> set for, for hey, winners. He but beat John Cena in a tables match on Raw, which led to the pipe bomb. He so he's always going to mm, have a, that's true. a that's lot of respect in my book. That is that. true. Well, guys, thank you for competing in our little wrestling resume challenge. Really nice job. A nice... Nice fair draw. Everybody loves a draw. Hey, great job putting it together, by the way. Thank you very much. I wanted to I wanted to make sure I did superstars that weren't all like top of the pile, that weren't all, you know, that weren't too obscure to not get. But um, you know, we're looking forward to covering the WrestleMania thirty two match. We're also looking forward to um to being out of this rain and the rest of this <laughs> weather. Uh so we're excited about that. And uh thanks guys for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Um as always, I'm Spencer. I'm Paul. I'm Landon. And this is Last, Last Match Standing. Match standing.